Well, hello, this is your girl, Diva Diva Fashionista, and I'm sorry if I sound crazy, I'm coming down with a cold, but I really wanted to upload this video, get more consistent with uploading videos, and um, I really wanted to upload this one because this is something that's really been on my mind and I wanted to share, I wanted to kind of get back to my more talking videos because I haven't really been doing that lately, and um. If you've read the title, you know that this is my 10, my top 10 weave pet peeves. And um, I try to keep my channel positive and, you know, on the kid, not kid, but teen friendly side. But if you're a young person and you're um, watching this video, you might want to click out because I'm not going to be able to do that with this one. There's going to be some cursing and I refrain from doing so up to this point. But um, if you're an adult or you can handle this disclaimer, there's going to be some foul language. Stay tuned, okay? <laughs> Number 10. Cheap weave. I cannot stand cheap weave. Girlfriends, don't go to the BSS and get the $9.99 weave. Get your coins, stack your paper, and wait till you can get the at least twenty nine ninety nine weave. I cannot stand these chicks walking around with cheap plastic. And I'm not saying wear synthetic is a bad thing. I'm saying it looking like it's synthetic is a bad thing. And friends, I blame you. Because some of you friends out there are en enablers. Your friends shouldn't let friends wear cheap weave. Okay, it's, I don't care how good your weave is. If you're still in there and you got on some good Bobby boys and your friend got some crap on her head, you look just as bad. Next time, help your friend out. Help your friend out. Okay, y'all just get we rocking saga together, but Bobby boys and bullshit don't mix. It's horrible. Stay away from the cheap weave. Number nine, I hate. Hate, hate with a passion. Kool-Aid red hair. I know. I know right now, some of you out there are clicking the dislike button right now. You have bright ass red hair. And I'm sorry to offend you, but for me, I hate it. 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 Red is one of my favorite colors, but I am not Riri. I am not K. Michelle. I am not going to be walking around with this flaming Ronald McDonald hair. I'm sorry. I think if it's done well, you know, maybe it's like, oh, girl, she looks cute. But it's just too much. It's done got, it got out of control. You know, somebody left the gate open. Everybody running around with bright ass, red hair. It's not cute. Cut it out. Don't do it. And like I said, the people I'm mentioning, I kind of know for me and Ratchet, I love me some Riri. Not a big K. Michelle fan, but I love me some Riri. That's a bad bitch. But I still, I just can't condone Sally Sue, you know, working at Mickey D's with the big right hair. Like, girl, stop. 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 <laughs> and while I'm on the subject of colored weaves, um, let's just, let's add all colored weaves in there. That rainbow bright hair, um, all of that. All of that, we're going to put all that, lump that multicolored hair says I may be employed but I'm not the boss you know and there's going to be exceptions to my this is my opinion like I said there's going to be exceptions to every rule Keisha K.O. she's a boss she made her own lane so she want to pop up on Instagram with pink hair today and then blue hair the next day and then have matching lipstick she can do that but Ladies, just understand, if you're going to rock your rainbow bright hair, the message that you're sending to John Q. Public is all I'm saying. Number eight. <laughs> this is a pet peeve I have, and I'm not going to call somebody because I don't know who watched my videos. But someone I know is rocking this weave right now, and I want to slap a little adolescent ass because it looks crazy. I hate, 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 hate. When people want colored hair, but they don't want to actually color their hair, and they don't know about virgin hair or virgin hair, which is very high maintenance, it's just like unobtainable for them at this time or at this moment. So, what they do is buy different color beauty supply hair. And uh, it's, it's hard for me to articulate this. I'm, tr I'm trying to get there. 
you see this this is maybe the leave out this is the leave out and then we take about a blonde blonde track and put them up to here now mind you this is black and this is hmm, i'm gonna say this is about six inches so maybe it's, it stops here but this is just the leave out your leave out unless it's you have clippings or it's really your hair is really full and thick it's going to be sparse because maybe you have about eh, this much out so this is all black or dark ebony brown and all of this is blonde and all of this is red or all of this is dark brown that shit is tacky that shit is tacky as hell dye your hair if you don't just don't want to dye your hair there's things you can do i.e a closure i.e so all of this add black tracks up here as well and put you know like kind of like the, the old school style style I've done that i've just blonde tracks down here like just the back tracks blonde i've even had braids you guys have seen me uh last year i have blonde braids on the bottom you know there's ways you can do that without damaging or bleaching or dyeing your own hair but just doing a half ass cop out of some colored hair in here and then just your regular hair on top that shit is hacky it's just, it looks horrible. If no one else is going to tell you, your girl Ziva Ziva is going to tell you, don't do that. That's not hot. You want some ombre? They start to sell ombre in the store where you can buy it where this part will match your hair and then this part will be another color. Go to the salon. Get a stylist. Just, just don't, don't just do the half-ass cop out, smack it on and then think it's cute because it's not. It, it's not cute. Mm-mm. Number seven. Okay, matted weave. This is my weave head peeve number seven. If you're walking around with helmet hair, your hair is dry and matted, looking all types of crazy, you need to snatch it out and start anew. Just just scratch it, burn it, blow it, get get rid of it. I cannot stand it. I took my son to Chuck E. Cheese for his birthday and I kept staring at this girl. From the front, it looked okay. She wanded up the front. The back looked like a bird's nest. Honey, why do you need me to tell you your hair looks a mess? Horrible. Again, I blame your friends and your family because somebody need to tell you. You know, she had a baby too, so somebody's hitting that. Yeah, shameful. Number six, dyed BSS hair. <laughs> That's some bullshit. <laughs> I cannot stand dyed beauty supply hair. I know, you know, it's not easy getting your hand on some good Brazilian, some good Indian, some good virgin hair. It's not easy getting your hands on good virgin hair. But ladies, I want you to understand, if no one else told you, Diva Diva's going to tell you. You should not dye processed hair. It's not cute. It's going to look like you took some Kool-Aid. You remember back in the day? Trying to be slick. Trying to put some Kool-Aid on your Your friend homegirl told you, girl, you want some color? Yeah, you put some Kool-Aid. Now everybody had Kool-Aid in the house. So that's what they did. Now you're grown. You're going out and you're buying bleach and all this different stuff. And you're buying hair color from the beauty supply and your hair. And then you're bleaching it. Processed hair is not meant for that. That's what virgin hair is for. They're now selling virgin hair in the store. Like I said, stack your paper, get your coins together. Save up for anything that you want. But ladies, please, please don't tie the processed hair with the stuff. It, it, it's tacky. And you're probably going to ruin the hair anyway. So please don't do that. <laughs> Number five, thin weave, not enough weave. Okay, guys, I'm guilty of this one. I had a couple, a couple, I want to say couple, maybe one, two, struggle weaves. I did. I had my struggle weaves, and I, not for nothing, everybody told me, like, oh, yeah, it's a little thin towards the end. Oh, girl, your bangs are a little thin. Maybe you need another pack of hair. So I'm guilty. I'm guilty. 
then not enough weed. One pack ain't gonna do it, girlfriends. Mm -mm. You can't just put one pack here and go, you know, especially if you're trying to do your whole head. That's not going to happen. Um, even too, they're making these bundles um, very light now, you know, because they want you to spend more money. So going and expecting that two pack of hair to do a full head, is, is it might not happen. It might night if you want to leave down below what two pack of hair that you've used and it was a success for me i'm a three or better i like four packs i actually have three bundles in my hand it worked because i was short enough this time but um yeah thin weaves enough said don't do that mm -hmm. number four to the two feet or better ladies if you need me to break it down that means 24 inches or more that's two feet uh, my cousin was just on um, Facebook talking about this shout out to Brittany and I was like you know you're right like it bothers me too and I've I've been known to, to be long hairs don't care you know if you don't know you know if you need some back history up until maybe a few not, not a few, but um, several years ago, wearing weave, especially when I was coming up, was taboo. It wasn't hot. If you had a weave, you had best have it like 8, 10, maybe 12 inches the most. It needed to be natural looking. It needed to blend. It needed to be convincing that this could actually be your hair. So, it got to a point where you want to see more Hollywood you know, Hollywood, more ladies, just really just in the video, videos looking glamorous, this long flowing hair that it became more acceptable. And like now, yeah, everyone wears a weave. It's okay to wear, wear hair weave or have one end, you know, mm -mm -mm, on my Tamar-ish. <laughs> but um, still, I, I just can't get with it, with it so super, super, super long. I've done it. I like it. I, I want to get into my 30 with something that's holding me back from having that 30 inch weave. The thing about it is, it's, honey, you, your hair doesn't grow that long. You know, as women of color especially, it's really hard for us to get those long, long flowing manes. So when people see it, it's like, ew. I know for me, you know, I'm starting to see all these Indians and Brazilians and Malaysians and Peruvians just walking down the street and they're all two, three feet long. It's starting to look crazy. It needs to be like a quota. China, y'all need to start a quota. Y'all need to just ship five a month. Five a month, that's it. Nobody could order past five. You need to get together and say, all right, you ship one, you ship, that's it. We're not doing no more. You know, you got to wait till next month, you know, because it's just getting crazy. Everybody walking around two feet weed. Yeah. That's a weave pet peeve. I'm starting to like, uh, you know, take it to a 2018, like cut it out. Okay. Cut it out. <laughs> Number three, lying ass weave. I hate a liar. And one of the two perpetrators of this either lies up or lies down. We're going to talk about the lying down first. The person that lies down, I can't stand that bitch. This is why I don't like her. This girl, you come up to her and you ask her about her weave because her weave is popping. Okay, I'm still on my hair journey. So, I have not found my holy grail hair just yet. So, people ask me questions all day. And I try my best to answer it. Honestly. I'm transparent. You know, you can ask me questions. People ask me beauty questions all day. And I actually like it. I actually like to, to be the advice giver, you know. And um, I've asked girls because I've come up to them. And I've seen their hairs popping. And I'm just like, OMG, girl, where'd you get your hair? And this chick turns around and she's like, <laughs> yes, girl. Oh, it was a gift. My mama bought me this. Oh, my man gave this to me to me for my anniversary. Yes, girl. Mm -mm, I don't know. Girl, you know on Schenectady, I bought this hair. And it's ounce hair, girlfriends. Yes, it's ounce hair. It's custom special made for me. They snatched it right off the Cambodian chick's head just for me, it's kind of expensive though, girl. Mm -hmm. It's kind of expensive. I don't know if you want to do it. It's like 500 a bundle. Bitch, stop lying. Stop it. 
It's not cute. It's not fair. It's not right. This chick, the chick that does not feel like she wants to be the only chick in the office with the most pop in here. She don't want to be the cutest chick. She don't want nobody else to have no shine. She don't want, to want nobody else to walk around. Honey, even if I get the same hair, I'm not going to look like you. Why can't I have some decent hair? Help a sister out. Can't stand that selfishness. Can't, can't stand it. But what's even worse than the girl that lies down it's the girl that lies up yes you have the girls who can successfully wear beauty supply store hair they can successfully wear brands like milky way or yaki or outtray successfully and it looks good you know these girls when you come up to them and you ask them hey girl where'd you get your hair they start soaking all type of lies oh girl this is Pants' hair shop here. This is Valencia Row. Girl, this is some Bobby Boss. Stop with the lies. Yeah, ooh, mm-hmm, girl. I wear PHS hair. Yeah, as in, please have severals. That is some beauty supply hair. I can tell. I can eyeball it. I can tell. Just the way I can look at someone and tell how long the hair is. Give or take an inch or two. I can tell if your hair is a virgin or this most popping high-end hair. I can tell. So stop lying to other people. You know, girlfriend, if you can make inexpensive hair work for you, if you're the great, 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 great granddaughter of Madam C.J. Walker and your hands has been blessed, you know, and you can do some hair and you can just make it work, tell the truth. Stop lying. It's not cute. You might have just had a client. Think about it like that. That girl you lying to and you telling her you spent $300 on some hair when you spent $39.99, um, she could have been your client. You could have charged her for the hair. Could have told her. You could have even marked the hair up to say you charged, you paid 50 for it. You'll go get the hair for her. Take, take, take the label off. Just, just. Just saying, take the label off. You know, have her come over. You go to her house, lay that hair. That could have been a hustle. Stop lying. I, I hate a liar. Number two. Could have been number one to me. Why are you walking around rocking Brazilian, Malaysian, Indian, Cam? Bodian, Peruvian, Eurasian, ETC, 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 tresses with Nigerian roots. Cut that shit out. That makes no sense to me whatsoever. If your hair is not perm, you're not, you're natural, which is fine. I'm not going to tell nobody to jump on a creamy crack train. You can be natural, but ladies... Do not wear your hair out. Don't wear your hair. Even sometimes when you process your hair, when you wear a perm or actually a relaxer, I'm from Harlem, we call it perm. But when you put a relax in your hair, it's not always going to make your hair silky. Some people, it just give a better kink. It'll get some of the kink out, but it's not going to be straight, like bone straight. So then you take this poor girl from India's hair, which is wavy and just giving you life. And sew it up there and leave this out and this out. And you want to be able to put a ponytail. No. Ladies, your leave out is very important. Your leave out will make or break your weave. Doesn't matter how much you spend on this. If this is not in check, you're going to look crazy. Pay close attention to your leave out, ladies. And if this hair is just not matching this hair, just sew it up. You need a full head. You need a full head. You need a closure. You need some Chinese bangs. Do something, but please spare me and the rest of the public from looking at your Nigerian roots with your Malaysian hair. Please. Thank you. <laughs> Number one. My overall, my supreme head peeve with is a two inch leave out ladies I, I don't need no ex I was going to say explain this to me but don't explain anything to me just stop doing this shit two inch leave out what the heck is wrong with you 
Two inches is not going to cover your tracks. Two inches is not going to blend with the rest of the hair. Two inches is not going to do you justice. What makes you think that having this much hair on top of this much hair is the business? I don't understand this. I see it all the time. It just won't cover. It won't blend. I see it stopping right here. And then all it is going, going, going. But this, the, the stuff that's coming out the root stops right here i hate it i can't stand it i don't understand it i don't understand it i'm just like why 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 like i said for number two like number two could have been number one get a sew in get a sew in like a full head closure put that on there braid it up oil it up until it grows take care of your foundation until you can have a, a nice little leave out little you know this is my hair. Look, look, look. But it blends nicely. It looks like I got some layers going. You know what I'm saying? Ladies, please. Please do not have the two inch leave out. And friends, don't let your friends walk around with two inch leave out. It's just, it's it's not the business. It's not. That That's the conclusion of my 10 pet peeves. Um, Guys, if you have a video response, you want to make a video response, link it down below. I'll approve it. Go ahead. Do what you got to do. Um, if you have a video that you already made about your weave pet peeve, I'd love to watch it. Thumbs it up. Share it. Do all that. So let me know. Um, follow me on Instagram. Um, Diva Diva Fashionista. Leave your comments down below. As always, I like I said, some of you may not like it. And you, you're free to hit the like or the dislike. Either way, just share it. Just share what, you, what you're what you thinking, your thoughts. I'm up to it. I want to hear it. Um, later, guys. This is your girl. See you in the next one.